Navy folks can follow me over here at uh, One Academy Street on Tuesday, November 16th at 7.05. First item on the agenda is to pledge allegiance. Please stand and join us. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gender review. We're going to do this in public comment, or are you going to add this to the agenda? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I want to come. Uh, do we we'll want personnel to take a session? And ask if we had anything to add. And add personnel to Zach's session? Okay. I yeah. think that's the only thing I got to add, Mark. Gender. Yeah. Room 9. Yeah. 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 We're going to remove a 9A. Don't need that. No mm -hmm. Nicole, anything? Are you going to say it or would you like me to? What's that? Are you, do you want to say it or do you want me to? Oh, well, okay, if you want. Um, I'd like to add. Um, Did you say you were removing 9A? Yes. Yep. Um, uh, what are we calling it? A mission statement for inclusion? Yeah, it's something that uh, I'm sure. Uh, you know, other towns have been doing this across the state, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, you know, something that uh, members of the community have brought before us, mm -hmm. uh, and we came up with some basic, uh, very simple wording. Okay. Something that, uh, I mean, I feel yeah. that it should be done, where, you know, has... We'll, we'll talk to about, where do we want to put it on the agenda? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, well, under... Yeah. Maybe you can talk about it when we get to that part of the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, new. Yeah. Probably new business. Yeah. New business uh, E. Anything else, Nicole or No. 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 Nope. Kathy? Can I take 4D off? 4D. Oh, 4D. Oh yeah, the proposal is not ready yet for the Zoom. Anything else, Kathy? No, that's no. Nothing. Okay, David. You know, under four A, um, I originally had the recreation budget there, and that's okay. that'll be on the next agenda. And okay. We placed it. Peter um, Ross turned in his report from the viewing yep. of the ditch um, okay. uh, digging last week. Yeah. So for the trench digging. Uh, mm -hmm. that I had it on. Okay. Anything else? No. No. Add anything to add? No. I'm good. All right. To hear a motion to approve the minutes from November 2nd, 2nd's regular select board meeting plus slash Zoom. I move. You got a second on that? I'll okay. second it. All right. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nice to have it. Public comment. Anybody got anything to add under public comment that's not on the agenda? You, sir? Uh, I have a comment from the uh, representing the SWAT enhancement project. Okay. Told um, me a minute. I didn't recognize your mask. Yeah, I, <laughs> I should have seen yeah, it when he walked yeah. in. It happens all the time. <laughs> you know, I'm Henry Lambert, and I'm representing the uh, SWAT enhancement project. Uh, we're going to give it a good try to uh, be present at the select board meetings, village trustee meetings, and other public meetings to uh, be informed and to, and to have good dialogue. As you remember, in uh, 2015, the Vermont Council on Rural Development sponsored a community uh, visit. And from that, there was a report, you're probably all familiar with this, mm -hmm. where the, there were a number of uh, recommendations uh, focusing on uh, ways that we can improve Swanton as a more livable place and uh, things like creating a fun uh, arts council, improving downtown traffic, and so on. You're all familiar because you've been involved in some of the grants, including many of the initiatives that we've, uh, we've started. We've developed task forces over the years and uh, having some pretty good success, but none of it could have been done uh, without your support, your encouragement over the years. One of SEP's uh, motivations for being here tonight and at future meetings is to express our gratitude. You're living out the lesson of 
bulb bloom where you are planted by ensuring that the soil around you is abundantly rich and nourishing. Well, that's a lesson for a successful gardener. It's also the secret of being effective leaders. Another reason for attending tonight and other meetings is to offer our support to you in achieving even more community success. It's very satisfying to be involved in community, in building community, coming together to achieve the well-being of all its citizens. Good communication and mutual trust are key. We all love our community at Swampin, and by working together with transparency and goodwill, we can make it even better. So that's uh, a statement that I uh, just want to mention that uh, we appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you guys as well. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And there are others uh, from the SEP here tonight, Joel and Sandy. Uh, Absolutely. Anybody got anything else under public comment that's not on the agenda? I just want to add thank you to everyone that helped last Saturday and Saturday before with the flags in the park. Greatly appreciated. So. They look great too. Yep. Thank you. Oh, animal control report, law enforcement. Jim's not present tonight, but we do have a report here. I saw there's only two things on it. Did anyone have any questions on that? No. No. Pretty slow. Yeah. All right. Old Town Business Foundation Ceiling Update. David, that's you. Yeah, last uh, Monday. Monday, we had uh, dig a trench next to the southeast side of the building, uh, below the windows in the listener's office, and down right to the very bottom of the foundation, and uh, found that uh, the first four feet down is covered with concrete by a foot thick, mm -hmm. and then underneath that, it's open. And there are pictures in the packet uh, tonight um, that show what the foundation stones look like mm -hmm. down there. Uh, and they're pretty jagged on the outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, those would have to be um, uh, smoothed out with um, either uh, shot creek or mm -hmm. foam. Uh, and then the, um, uh, the ceiling fabric could be put over that after it's smoothed out to keep water from digging in through the, uh, uh, the, the stones, the old stones. And Peter, in his latest uh, uh, analysis that's in the report, uh, mentions that the fact that it's covered with concrete would help or cut down the cost because it's already smooth. And so it would make it uh, less expensive than what they originally thought. But it's, it still would be expensive with uh, the outside work and the inside work later. Um, we also have contacted you know, Reggie, um, and he mentioned um, that they're going to try to extend the stormwater up Church Street mm -hmm. to our building. And when, when they do that, they'll have the bottom elevation. So we may be able to put a storm drain in around the mm -hmm. bottom of the foundation and yeah. drain some of the water away that way mm -hmm. on the outside. But uh, that that's still in the um, kind of uh, planning stages. So yeah. um, Peter's in contact with him also, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll be discussing that. He wants to, uh, Reggie wants to dis dis work with the town to discuss that. And that would be a big help if if, um, if that happens to get the water out here. Right now, there's nowhere to go except either in the ground or in the building. And I think we may be able to, to use some of the ARPA money for this because the mm -hmm. main reason we're doing it uh, is to get rid of the dampness in the basement, which could cause mold, which is a health issue. Uh, so I think uh, once we get a final figure of what it will cost, we, we could maybe by then, by probably by next spring, we would have a better idea of what qualifies for ARPA. Specifically, right now it's kind of a guessing. Um, so that that's a hopeful uh, possibility. It wouldn't uh, cost the taxpayers anything if we could do that. Did you guys all read through this? 
I, I did read through it. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree with it. I'll be honest with you. Putting all that money into the outside of that foundation that's already got concrete on the top portion. And Peter in here, Peter says there's only water in the ground out there where they dug. It's all sand. I mean, you're gonna. I, I'm just guessing now the ballpark. You're gonna dump a hundred grand in the outside of this building by the time you're done excavating that stone up and everything else. And, and you've got porches and ramps and everything else that's gonna have to be removed to put do the drainage underneath there correctly. If they're gonna do any drainage around there, if they Reslope the grade on the outside of the building and put gutters on this it would stop the water from running down the side of the building And then repoint the foundation from the inside, but I don't uh, I don't really agree with all, doing all that Is there a stone and drainage pipe around the base? The no the That's no, there's no, uh, right. no place to drain it to but if we're pointing the inside of the foundation, we're pointing the inside of the foundation is going to seal it. Would seal the inside. The water's not directly running in; it's just moisture. No, and it's that's it's half, it's half the problem. Is, really is that over here with the wood inside? <coughs> well, we pointed the outside of the building four or five years ago. We pointed all the stones on it from the ground level right. up on the foundation. But half the problem is, is it's like this around the sides of the building. So the water runs down in there; it just sits there, and then it runs down in the ground. So if we elevated the soil <coughs> on the outside of the building, sloped it away from it, it would stop the water from running into the building and run away from it. And then repointing the inside of the building. I just don't think that that, I mean, you can listen to an engineer all you want, but they don't always know everything. <laughs> yeah. You know, I. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in favor of reporting the inside of the building mm -hmm. and, and exactly. try to have some mm -hmm. stormwater runoff. As they put it to me, the foundation's been there for 100 years. The concrete mortar's <coughs> been there for 100 years. It lasted 100 years. Why is it the new concrete mortar going to last another 100 years? And not wait. And it, it's evident that the outside of the foundation, by the looks of the pictures I looked at, never had any mortar in the rocks on the outside of the foundation. They're stacked in there. Stand. There's nothing there. I just think it seems absurd to go and pour yards and yards and yards and yards of concrete in there and cement the outside of this foundation at the bottom four feet of it. I mean, look by the looks of it, the top four feet, someone poured a wall against it, but they never went all the way to the bottom. So now you're gonna you're gonna dig that out, pour concrete in there, build a bigger wall against it. It really isn't gonna solve anything. And then put this spray foam and sealer in that. It sounds like a, I don't know. Just doesn't sound like a great plan to me. Yeah. I, I'm in favor of at least repointing the inside. I think that's it's the biggest. Thing. It's, it's going to be done. And they yeah. Look at stormwater. We're not. We're talking about not doing the outside of it. No, I'm talking on the inside. No, that's repointing the stone is actually picking out the old mortar, then remortaring all the stones in. And then concreting it. That, no. That's what mortaring it is. Mortar. There won't be no concrete wall. You remortar oh, old stones, old field stones. Yeah. That's my that's my mm -hmm. two cents. Then you evaluate stormwater runoff when it comes and mm -hmm. the draining from the outside. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. If we had a place to drain it, right. yeah, granted, you can put a sump pump system in if you wanted to and and try to hook it up that way. But I just to do it and do it right. I mean, it's a massive project. I mean, you got that handicap ramp over here that's 30 feet long. Well, it's longer than that, actually. That would have to be all removed to actually expose the foundation to it correctly. You got ramps out front, you got ramps over here. I just think it has a lot to do with the elevation on the outside of the building. And, uh, and, and if there's any way of putting gutters on the building, to stop a lot of the water from going down the side of the foundation. You're thinking. I, don't, I just think we're throwing money at it. Pearl, you're that, thinking. What? You're thinking. What you're thinking? <coughs> well, uh, oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> I I guess I would, uh, you know, take. I think it needs more than just repointing. To be honest with you, I don't think that's going to solve the per the problem long term. It will be a temporary solution, and it is a lot less money. Mm -hmm. I agree with that, uh, but. Even uh, as you said, James, it you know may not be the best solution, but uh, to do that. But 
you know, what he's talking about here makes all kinds of sense to me. I mean, you would never put a house up today without some kind of drainage foundation mm -hmm. around the foundation. And if we have to yeah. use a sump pump, as he says in his report, yeah. until uh, gravity can be found, that it's still going to be good for the long-term health of this building. Uh, the other thing that we need to consider here is that we're probably going to see more heavier rainfall. I mean, it's just the way the weather is now. Uh, I don't want to get into a discussion about climate change, but, you know, we do have radical storms now. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have more and heavier rains, and it's going to cause, you know, more issues. Mm -hmm. Unless, you know, the building's properly, has proper drainage around it. Uh, to me, you know, I would make the investment because this is a very important building for the community. Uh, that's just the way I feel. I think in the spring, according to Reg, they're going to do a new stormwater yeah. over here. Well, that's what he was, they was talking about. Which is going to be lower than trying to get to the one out here. Mm -hmm. That then we could pitch it that way. Yeah. Because it's going to run mm -hmm. down. Instead of yeah. trying to run up. Yeah, exactly. But they're not doing that too yeah. much. Yeah. The other thing I might give you as an example uh, there are these windows here. Yeah. I mean, they, when they did this renovation here, uh, those windows weren't put in right. No. You know, I mean, yeah. we may have saved some money, but yeah. what are we doing? We're, we just had to redo them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, put it, yeah. you're going to spend 30000 something mm -hmm. on repointing. Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. maybe, what, five, eight years down the road, we might be having to do it again. I hope not, but. But, yeah, yeah. you hope not, but we don't know that for sure either. So, you know, I mean, I know, I don't, you know, I'm not a big money spender, but uh, myself, but when it comes to buildings and, you know, even equipment, you're either going to take care of it right or you're going to pay one way or the other. Uh, and as important as this building is to the community, I would do the project and do it right. Get the drainage system in here, fix the outside if that's what's recommended, uh, and then fix the inside. Long as our taxes don't go What's that? Long as our taxes don't go up. Well, you know, <laughs> if we don't do it, it could they could go up. Five years from now, because something disasters happen. I agree with you. You know, that's the only thing. You know, if you think if you're going to trip over the quarters to pick up pennies, uh, you don't come out ahead in the long run. What's the rest of you feel then? We do about this. You can get a quote. It doesn't have to get the quote and see what they think of our estimate and go from there. Who feel it's best to go that way? I mean, well, my understanding is either way, we're not doing this until spring, James. The is outside that? of the stuff, but no, they can do the inside anytime, but right, right, yeah, no, yeah, no, I wouldn't suggest the one trying to do that in the wintertime. I saw like pour concrete, you know, no. So, what's the plan? You're going to put you're going to put it out the bid? Well, I think we kind of need to have a plan of what we're going to do first. It, and well, we already have a, a a bit on the repoint and, and inside, inside, inside yeah. I mean, yeah. which needs to happen regardless. It needs to happen, yeah. 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 I think we should at least do that and get that done. And well, work on the outside. He's not going to do that. That's time. my initial thought. But yeah. he's not going to do that till spring now. Is that my understanding? Well, he can do it over the winter. The yeah. stuff inside, if we see, okay. we, we put it on hold because we we're going around right. figuring out what to do the outside. So we kind of need to make up our mind what we're going to do. Well. Right. I don't see any problem with doing the inside now and get it done. If you're going to do the outside in the next year or so, then it'll be fine. I agree yeah. with Earl. Mm -hmm. There's no need to mandate it. No. But my concern is, where's that money going to come from? Mm -hmm. It may qualify for uh, some of the money that we can come in. Yeah. But it may not. Mm -hmm. And if not, where where was that money going to come from? I don't know. Well, uh, I, I suspect that depending on what the uh, amount of the, you know, what the bids come in, I, if we were to bid it out. Would you tell me uh, uh, just a spray sealer, David, was $25 square foot or something? 
That's um, what he estimated at. Yeah. Yeah. That was for the concrete. If you had to go with the concrete. Yeah. On the outside. Now it's just a sealer. The concrete and the sealer. Yeah. And the ditching was of course for the digging. Now, if we couldn't get this, don't worry. If we couldn't get this to go through the, uh, that's just one side of the building. Yeah. The expand yeah. the money that the uh, the care or whatever the program is, <laughs> uh, through there, we could, you know, if we wanted to minimize the impact on the taxpayers, another consideration would be to borrow the money for uh, five. I think you could. Uh, there's so many years you can borrow money without bonding. Mm -hmm. Five. Uh, you know, and pay it back over a five-year period to minimize the impact on the tax rate. You know, there's mm -hmm. a, there's options out there. Uh, so there's two options that I can think of. The Paul Bourne um, Historic Preservation Grant program is open. Um, you can get up to, I believe, it's $50,000. Mm -hmm. There's also USDA has a community facilities loaning grant program. Mm -hmm. um, that is also open, and this would qualify as a community facility because obviously we hold meetings and community mm -hmm. events here. So those are two options that we could potentially use to pay for, pay part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joel? Are you taking any public input? I sure can. Um, I kind of like what Jane suggested. If it's on a solid foundation, which everybody seems to think it is, mm -hmm. and the water that's only getting in is coming off the roof, mm -hmm. why not get a price to put the gutters, mm -hmm. to do some changes on the outside? You could actually put a little concrete sidewalk all around the building, mm -hmm. four or five feet, so all that mm -hmm. water would get four or five feet. Mm -hmm. Tip it away from the building, make sure it's sealed. Mm -hmm. Just get a price on that to compare to the other. Mm -hmm. And, it, and you yep. get that done and say, wait a minute, you're not getting water in the basement. You do the repoint in which you wanted to do anyway. Yeah. And I think you got the budget for that, I'm not sure. But, yeah. but if you go with that lower cost, if it's on a solid foundation, yeah. I agree with you, Earl, you want to make sure for a building it's on a solid foundation. But I think what we're hearing, yeah. from what I read in that report from mm -hmm. Peter, yeah. you know, that basically this building's on a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. It's the water infiltration. Mm -hmm. If they dug down and it's all just sand, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, it's, and there's no water table there, no. Water is yeah. just going to go down, mm -hmm. except for you what's it. running yes. against yeah. the building. Yeah. But yeah. I just, and I just to well, throw it out, I just did a quick math in my head. Just, just to seal, just the sealer alone is like an eighty thousand dollars job on this building ballpark. At twenty five dollars square foot. So. Joel. Joel. I agree with you on. on on uh, part of it, but come spring when there's snow and all up against the building and stuff, you still have a chance of going down the side of the building. You, you yeah, minimize so that minimize it with the right, right where the joint mm -hmm. is between the yeah. concrete and the building. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. there's, there's several things you can do to make that water move away from mm -hmm. the building. But generally, but generally, that's not the way building foundations are drained. Because there's still going to be groundwater that's going to. Well, a normal there. house or normal building would have a footing drain in yeah. the basement, obviously. Yeah. But if you were trying to have an eight yeah. foot dry basement, mm -hmm. that's not what was done here. And again, no. if you got sand and it's dry right now, mm -hmm. the water's going down. If you yeah. had a water table of one to two feet below grade, we mm -hmm. would be seeing a swimming pool down there. Yeah. We don't have that. Yeah, no, just the heavy rains which run in from right. the foundation now that the mortar is very poor in. And they said that it's worse on this side than it is that side. There's so. no sump pump system down there now? No, it's just all seen. Yeah. Some of it's concrete, some of it's not. Yeah. Now, when they do this on the inside, are they going to finish concrete in the floor, too? No, that's no. not part of it. No. Yeah. You get moisture from that also. Yeah. Which way is more? It's going after the reporting and, and mm -hmm. trying to move the, the water away from the building. Mm -hmm. And then go from there. Gives you time to buy and see what, see how mm -hmm. well that holds and what it does. And if mm -hmm. it stops it, and then gives you a long term mm -hmm. cost process of you know you'll have to do it in yeah five ten years whatever it may be. But mm -hmm. that's me. Well, so we have nothing in our budget right now to yeah. even repoint it. 
<coughs> well, we have our economic development money. Yeah. Know how much we have left there after the windows, but to do the reporting. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Um. Okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we should have, should be enough in there for what I know what we had, so. Not that, uh, yeah. <coughs> so what do you guys want to do? Do you want to repoint the inside of the basement or not? Oh, we definitely yeah. could do that anyway, James. So do we want to make a vote to move forward and go ahead and have it repointed? I make a motion that we go forward with, with repointing the, the downstairs. Yeah. One second. All right, but you better put a mount on it then if you're going to do that for the... Are we going to go forward with a bid we hired you previously? We're going to use. Yeah. So okay. Just say, state it. We well, I can. I'll let me find it and I'll state it again so we have it publicly done. Uh, Thirty-eight. Wasn't it? Uh, Thirty-five thousand eight hundred and forty dollars. Yeah. I know. I know there was an yeah. eight in there. And I will. I will just say that we need to verify yeah. that he's still honoring that price. It's, it's been days. a while. Yeah. So Four that's since July. So. That's to seal the inside. That's just to repoint the stones on the inside of the foundation. All right, so we got a motion, a second. Then we're we're going to uh, repoint the inside of the foundation for thirty-eight, the price of thirty-five thousand eight hundred forty dollars with J and L masonry. Uh, any other discussion? Uh, the money. The money. You want to use that money out of the economic development fund? For Unless that we purpose. can use the ARPA money, yeah, for it. I, I don't know that for sure, but. You could use it and take a chance. Uh, oh, yeah. If they approve it, you're home free. If not, yeah. Come on. Yeah, we can do that. I think it's a stretch. Yeah, but yeah. that's not a very good way of doing business, David. With no. the public. No, but well, we can look into it. They make uh, and see if we can. I would if we're, if we're going to go forward with this. Uh, I you know which I don't agree with, but that's fine. That you know, I mean, that's just the way boards work. I've been on boards of law. Uh, I would at least like to budget for it. I don't think that money should come out of the economic development fund. I mean, the uh, economic development fund is for economic development. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if we keep using it for all these, and we've used a fair amount of it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's going to be gone. And then we may need it for something that's more important. Uh, Foundation is pretty important to build. I, I know, <laughs> but there are other things, too, that we may want that money for. And if it's we're using it for this, I don't have fine. If you guys want to do it, then we should put it in the upcoming budget and do it. You want me to to apply for the present historic president? That's what I was. Where I was just gonna. I mean, certainly look into that. One caveat of grants is that you can't do any work in advance. In, in advance. Yep. So you have to hold off until you find out if the grant was approved. And with the ARPA, the way it is right now, you have to do something, submit your report to the feds, and then they, they either approve or deny it. That's the only way to find out right now. It's kind of the reverse of a grant where you know <coughs> you're applying for an advance and get approved, and then spend the money and get reimbursed. This, this way they get backwards. How long would it take, Elizabeth? Give us an answer. Um, so the application is due December 27th, and they're anticipating uh, awards in January. Mm -hmm. yeah, I will s remind everybody that we did already vote on this once yeah. and we made it pending the inspection of the foundation so and the original plan was to use it, the money that money the first time we voted on it so well you can vote on it I mean yeah. you, if you got four votes and you got one against it it still passes yeah, we well, already got a motion in a second so we'll vote on it then all in favor signify by saying aye 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 Aye. Oppose. Oppose. Right. We got four eyes then. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. BB Road covered update, David. You got anything new on that? Uh, just that uh, Tyler Billingsley will be sending out the request for bids at the end of November and they'll be back uh, before the second uh, select board meeting in uh, December mm -hmm. so you know at that point what the bids are okay. and then go from there. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, ERSA grant update, what's that David? Ursa. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, the town got the go <coughs> to apply for the grant 
Joel and Betsy are working on it. Okay. And I have um, uh, some paperwork, some documents that the grant writer requested that I do that I'll be uh, emailing her tomorrow. And I think uh, Joel and Betsy also had some um, uh, paperwork to do for the grant writer. So maybe Joel wants to Joel. talk about that. Like yes. speak, Joel? Yes, I will. Okay. Part of the URSA grant, and also just a little bit on Forest Street, the Forest Street Committee that's doing the URSA grant. Okay. Regarding the URSA grant, I now am learning how much there is to do in a grant. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank goodness Betsy got some money from Rise Vermont to pay a grant writer mm -hmm. because there's a grant writer, Coy Boynton, who's very heavily involved in this. We have Peter Frost doing a wetland delineation and a site plan that's underway. This all has to be done by the 29th of November, so we're going to be right down to the wire. Working with the ANR to get a project review sheet completed. Wasn't aware of that until uh, just the other day, but sent it off Monday. I've talked with ANR. It's going to be close if they can get that completed. Uh, one thing I think the board should vote on tonight that David said he's got a couple pieces of paper to provide, but it really the board needs to commit to pay for the operation and maintenance of the site. Now when it's done, it's a parking lot. Um, it should not be a lot of maintenance for many years and it shouldn't be a high maintenance cost, but we do need a letter of commitment on the operations and maintenance of that parking lot. If the grant comes through so because it's the town property it's the town submitting the grant i think the select board should be the ones to provide that letter um i don't know what you were thinking on that dave if you were just going to sign off on that but it really needs to me for the board to say you're stepping up to the operation and maintenance of that parking lot mm -hmm. yeah that's a board decision yeah. right so and that's just just a parking lot joel that's all it is the plowing and whatever it's the parking lot uh, we're putting a slab down for a couple porta potties. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to see if we can get funds for the first year of those, mm -hmm. and we see if it's even worth doing. It may become yeah. an issue with vandalism, yeah. flipping them over, or whatever. And you may just say we're not doing that anymore. Mm -hmm. There's a pavilion, small pavilion. Mm -hmm. um, there's a bike repair stand mm -hmm. and a bike rack. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's pretty small. It's not much yeah. different than yeah. some of the other stuff. Yeah. The rec department takes care of. Yeah. But we do need that letter of commitment to make this a complete application. So I just want Joe, to how much that. parking are you going to have there? Do not know the total number. Um, I'm hoping for around 20 cars or 10 trucks and trailers, snowmobile trailers, uh, until we get this wetland determination. The good thing is I walked it the other day and saw where they tied flags to the what I think are the boundaries of the wetlands. And like I was told that that south side has less wetlands, I think we're gonna be able to get the full amount, but I don't know that yet. Should know in a, about a week and a half. Um, I know they were out surveying because they found a water valve in the middle of that site. <laughs> they're trying to find out but where, where the village water line might run through there. Huh. But that's that's all progressing pretty good, but we're gonna be right down to the wire. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna get there, but just yeah. wanna give that update and ask uh, yeah. that you know, authorizing David to give that letter mm -hmm. if, if you're so inclined. Mm -hmm. Just real quickly on the Forest Street, one of the big issues was the location of the community center, rec building. I know there was a lot of support for the building, mm -hmm. but the location was an issue. Uh, the rec has a meeting on the 23rd of November. Mm -hmm. So I really thought we should meet with the rec committee prior to sitting down with the rec mm -hmm. committee, the Forest Street committee, and you folks, a very busy time of year for you mm -hmm. folks. So we should meet with the rec department first. Yeah talk about their properties and stuff and then come before the select board. So, mm -hmm. David, I'd like to get us on the agenda for the 7th of September. December. Yeah, December. December. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 7th of December. I'm trying here. to okay. go back in time here for some yeah. reason, but uh, for the 7th of December, we can talk with you and yeah. hopefully not spend too much of your time this time of year. Mm -hmm. Regarding Forest Street, I know there was a lot of support for maybe phase one. I know it's budget season. So hopefully over the next few months that that's something you consider. I know now we're talking about other mm -hmm. other funds and everything and it's a tough year. Just want to keep that alive is the whole issue with nothing else. If we could do a few things to improve that lot a little bit, mm -hmm. especially if we're going to keep it as part of the town, maybe mm -hmm. you know some money for that pavilion or just a gravel parking area or something. Mm -hmm. Just want to throw that out there. Don't want to get too far down this budget process without at least considering it. Mm -hmm. Those are the updates. Thanks okay. very much. All right, thank, thank you, you, Joel. Joel.
I got one question for Joel. Yeah. Did you have a, a budget for that phase yeah. one? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. And that also, did that include the brownfield, a little bit of work that needs to be done? Yes, we threw in a figure for the yeah. brownfield based on the initial report and a few extra years. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll entertain a motion to, uh, for the town highway department to maintain the parking lot um, for the new proposed parking area for the rail trail uh, uh, what do you, is that what you're calling it or what do we it's, it's a letter of equipment yeah. for the operation maintenance but the, the area that is we're, the, we're calling what are we going to call the, it uh, Memorial Valley Rail Trail Western Terminal I wanted to, yeah, yeah okay all right so I'll entertain a motion for that so that the highway turret would do the plowing and if there was any mowing around there or anything around the edges or whatever we can all right I'll so. move that the town yeah. accept the responsibility of maintaining the uh Memorial Valley Proposed. Rail Trail Western uh, terminus, parking lot. terminus parking lot. Well, well sir, can we just second get a sign for that? <laughs> that all right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I second it. James. All right, thank you. Any other discussion on that? No. Nope. Nope. Right. Thank you for your work on that, Joel. Thank all you. Right, thank all you in all. favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Can you draft something up saying we yeah. proved that <coughs> town to maintain it if it's built? Okay. Uh, do you want to sign it, or do you want me to? Sign it? Doesn't matter, David. You can sign it, it'll be fine. Yep, all right. Uh, new town business discuss regional property project with Tim Smith. I don't see him here yet, so I think he thought it would take you a little longer to get to the agenda. That's okay, he'll be here. No problem, we can come back to it. Let's go to the bit a bit. I can't talk tonight. Discuss the proposed <coughs> library budget number nine. All right, page nine. Sorry, welcome. Why, thank you. <laughs> Which one would you like to start with? No, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, probably the MOU, I would yeah, think, would be the most important thing to great. start with. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think the only really gray area I think we're all trying to really understand and make sure that we're on board with is the cost of an elevator repair <laughs> if God forbid something happens. Mm -hmm. But uh, is it fair to say that we are in agreement if something has to happen to that elevator, we're under a 50 50 agreement until we can really truly take over that responsibility at some point in the future? Absolutely, and yeah. if there's something catastrophic that right. happens to the elevator, we agreed that we'd all come in and talk about it. Work together on it. How yeah. on earth we could solve it. Mm -hmm. right, we all know elevator repair is very expensive, so. Oh, elevator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, been there, done that. As far as the MOU, yeah, uh, I've read it and read it and read it. And that's. I just want to make sure that we are all 100% in agreement on the mm -hmm. MOU before we. I think any motion if there's any other conversation mm -hmm. that's certainly up to you guys. Yeah, I, I had a, we had a couple of yep. fairly minor comments. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is under number five, which is library employees who work at least 20 hours mm -hmm. per week are eligible for sick time. Mm -hmm. We have one. This is the MOU. She's an employee who has been to the library for mm -hmm. 30 years, works less than 20 hours per week, and always been given sick time. And we would hate to back off that. Um, My only concern there would be, and this is just me, what kind of standard or precedent would that be setting for other employees who may not work 20 hours in other areas? Uh, I, I the state law changed about two years ago on that anyway, so I think okay. we have to provide at least a prorated level of safety. Yeah. Yeah. Forever no. employee? Mm -hmm. yeah. We do it for Brian. Mm. It's, 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 uh, it's mandated. There's so many. Or, yeah, I think it's every every 52 hours, a quarter hours. Yeah, it's it's like a, there's a mm -hmm. whole formula to it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's prorated to like two weeks a year for a full time employee, whatever the part time. Yeah, part time is a different. Uh, yeah, it's right, different. but it's, it's whatever the fraction is for how much they work. Yeah, an hour for however many hours we need. 52 hours. Well, look at, look at I have to look at it because we've got it it's set in our system to automatically do it for Brian. I thought so you were that, just. We set it up three years ago. So. I thought you were just asking for the straight whatever time they're getting now to just carry over. So, okay, that's why. I, yeah, if we could just word that such that we could do it. If we just, they do it, whatever they do it now is prorated. Yeah. So it's not. Based on the hours they work, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's prorated, so all the employers are getting the same ratio, yeah. just depending on how many it's hours. Full it's for part-time people. Yeah. 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 Like your payroll provider probably does it for you, right? Yeah. Well, I do the payroll, but yeah. Payroll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's all. I just want to make sure. Our yeah. And the other couple of things I had was mm -hmm. um, under B, the town of Swanton will do plumbing repairs if there's a broken pipe somewhere, and electrical issues mm -hmm. only for bringing wiring um, up to code. Yeah. So in our operating budget, should we be maintaining a level of building maintenance? I would say so. I mean, if you have something you're being held to, uh, I would think you know, you maybe should. you should add another mm -hmm. line in there mm -hmm. in case a toilet falls apart or something. That mm -hmm. would not be covered by you under this agreement. Correct. And we would need yeah. money. Yeah, my, minor plumbing and, and minor electrical. You know, if you got a light that goes out or something, you guys have to get someone to fix it. I mean, yeah. those kind of things, simple things like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, some stuff we can probably handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was my question. Should we be adding something to our budget to cover mm -hmm. this? Do you have anything in your budget for maintenance? No. 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 Oh, we put it over to you guys. Okay. You must have had something in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, well, yeah, you, yeah. We had it all. They just moved yeah. it over to Swan. This is 3000. Yeah. Yeah. So if we were going to be, this is going to be budgeted in the general budget now, then right. for I think we would starting point would be what you had budgeted in the past. That's what she put. Are you got building it. maintenance? Yeah. And I'm looking at your proposed budget. Okay. What is that? Well, they would have their own under their own budget. Yeah. Under their operating budget. Yeah. yeah. Budget, operating budget, okay. Right, yeah, this, well, I see this one's ours, I guess, right, right here. This so it's already built. Ours. This yeah. is for us, they've transferred yeah. So. We can change for that to whatever we want. Yeah. Just trying to dig it all in here. Yep. Water numbers. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. What if you call it into a maintenance? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You call it or you want it. Yeah. Do you still have your annual maintenance contract with Sol? I mean, I would think. Or did you change that? Uh, well, the refrigeration, you've got it at the town will include the volume expenses the town don't Oh, that's Alliance. Alliance. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's Alliance now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Isn't the wording. So the 3400 you put in, that's for their annual contract? Or is that just for the work they've done? I'm assuming that's a combo. With, I don't know how much their contract is. So. It's a combination. But I think it's a... And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we got a new water heater and mm -hmm. something else put in this past yeah. year. So, so what's their an annual yeah. contract? Yeah, I know. We're doing okay. back. Yeah. Just carry on. I'm just yeah. like, don't know. Don't know. Yeah. So I just All right. Well, let's finish the MOU and then we'll go back to budget. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
So you probably should put something in your budget for minor repairs inside the building. Okay. I mean, I would think a thousand bucks or something, or fifteen hundred bucks or something like that in your budget for minor things. I mean, your plumber comes out, it's going to cost you one hundred fifty bucks. Electrician comes out, it's probably going to cost you a hundred bucks or more. So, if you stop thinking that way. Mm -hmm. yeah well that way you can handle the little things inside the building not we don't have to worry about that i think that's more than fair enough all right yeah other than that little change is everyone good with the mou i am any other questions on the mou well just to be certain on page yeah. three we're on uh, part three the town will include library expenses. The climate is not sole refrigeration anymore. It's Alliance. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. So that should be changed okay. then as well. Mm -hmm. okay. well. You could have any wording there. I mean, yeah. do you yeah. want to have Alliance? Or you could it, change it anytime. Just put generic in there. That, that That's yeah. just yeah. for that particular yeah. refrigeration maintenance. Where it doesn't have to be that exact company. Okay. Yeah. And elevator maintenance. Do you have a contract with somebody for that too? Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> well, the other owners, we list it as eligible. Right. Okay. But it is through Okay. Anything else on the MOU? Could I ask one more question? You sure can. How about the audit? The library, is, this is, mm -hmm. where did the advocates story talk? The library will be audited at the library's expense when the town's finances are audited. Um, can't we just go as a lump? Can we be included under the town's audit rather than do something separate? Uh, that's a Catholic question. <laughs> How is it done now? We don't routinely do There's it, not a routine but every audit. few years we have arranged <coughs> to do an audit with AM Pike yeah. in St. Albany. We can, I can check and see if you became part of our audit, how much more it would be to incorporate it into us. Okay. And if it would cost a lot out. less yeah. than for us to do a wholly separate audit. Or we have to do two separate pieces. I think you have to do two separate Kathy, if that oh, money yeah. goes into the general fund and, and go into the library, there's going to have to be an audit. It was should, should our all be on our audit, right? Our audited. Our part our of it would be audited. It's yeah. the library's well, part. You're so it, it would be our yeah. operating expenses. Right. And yeah. Whatnot. That would still have to be operated right. audited separately. So when we do our audit, yeah. then we do ours. So it's, yeah. it is kind of separate, but. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. because, yeah, it's, because it's different. Yeah. But. It's different now, though, because we're going to be writing all the checks. They're not going to handle anymore. They're not. No, they well, have their no own. they're yeah. going to take care of it's whatever's in their budget. Yeah. yeah. Their operating uh, budget. Their operating budget, they'll take care of. Whatever's in our budget, mm -hmm. we'll be taking care of. But so they're going to write their own checks for, for their own stuff. For their own. Okay, I thought we were writing all the checks for no, everything. Just for payroll? No, or just what we've taken over on the okay. MOU yeah. is what we're going to be responsible for. We're going to use oh. that part of the okay. library budget to yeah. take that portion. It'll stay in the town and we'll pay the bills. Okay. They're going to still pay, like, the, yeah. the items that are um, mm -hmm. in their budget. Yep. They'll pay them themselves. Okay. That other budget. That's right. So there's. So they're going to write the checks for those people, or you're going to write the checks for those bills for their, well, their stuff? For their, for their yeah. separate. Their own, their own, own budget, budget for the library. For the library yeah. themselves. There, yeah. They're going to write their own checks. They're going to write their own checks. Out of their own account. Okay. We're going to be responsible for what's in the MOU. Okay. We're taking over. Okay. Does that yeah. mean that needs to be audited twice or two different audits? Well, I think it's going to have to be because yeah. you guys are still going to have your own checkbook and you're going to write your own checks. How can they be done by the same person at the same time? I don't Unless know. We, we can ask. I don't know. know. We're not taking all the yeah. yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm inclined to say no. But yeah. No, I wonder um, yeah. if it. The, I mean, it's all those same taxpayers, okay? Uh, I'm wondering if we'd be better off if we did take all the money, then we just audit it all. It'd be a one audit, right? Yeah, but it create yeah. a lot more yeah. work for yeah. 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 I know. Well, we're just talking, now we're back tracking. Yeah. We're back tracking. Yeah. 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 Ye
backtracking on what you decided mm-hmm. to do. This is yeah. last year. We got to this yeah. point, and then we didn't mm-hmm. do it, and then we're going to yeah. do it. Yeah. Do Let's it hold it over there. Yeah. yeah, it might be a better discussion for mm-hmm. like six months into this and see how it's working. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, so why don't we mm-hmm. try this? Yep. Yeah. And yeah. if it yeah. looks like it might no. be easier because to incorporate the whole it'll, thing. You'll still have to be audited because it's public money. So, I mean, you'll have to have No, you don't have an audit regularly now, do you? No, we had one. We asked him to have one a few years back. So, okay. yeah. So, yeah, but this one, but this, something like this that. MOU says that the audit will have the library will have an audit and yearly. Yearly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Your own it says audit. They'll have one with the town is yeah. What? It says they'll have one with the town. The town is how often is the town audited? Every year. Every year we have to be audited. So. I, I mean, we can ask if they can do the audit I can, I of theirs. I don't. There's no guarantee, ask but certain. I mean, if it's that simple and it's going to save us money, it's it's all comes from the same pot in the beginning. So, it's uh, oh, if they can do it, then we can certainly do that. I don't have a problem with it. Well, it does. We should add this to the library operating budget. Okay. Because we haven't yeah. added in anything for a yearly audit. Mm-hmm. I remember our last audit was pricey. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, they're very expensive. But this MOU here you got says the library shall shall be audited at the library's expense mm-hmm. when the town That's finances the are audited. Yeah. That's the question we're trying to clarify. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can save the money by doing it. Mm-hmm. Same person. <coughs> but it would be at the library's expense. Yeah. It, even though you'd be the same auditors we have. Right, so then we will. Well, that's fine, but just let us know how much. Right, and we will need to add that to our budget. Mm-hmm. It's not on there right now. Yeah. Yearly audit. So you need to add something for the audit, you need to add something for general small yeah, maintenance stuff in the building. Yeah. It's not a lot of people. But they do need alcohol, all cost, and talk to them tomorrow to see what options we have. That would be great, Kathy. Let us Okay. So are we <coughs> okay with the MOU? We want to vote on the MOU that minus a couple of little things we're checking on? May I make a suggestion? Sure. Just as a member of the public, not yep. representing any organization. Yep. On your agenda for tonight you have discussion. You don't have action. Yep. You'd be premature to act on this in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been discussed for quite a while. I we have to go back and forth. <laughs> I don't know why it's worded that way, but yeah. But it doesn't change. It's not going to change anything we vote on. It's not. Yeah. Does say that. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. If we don't accept the MOU, how does this impact our current? Well, I think we've got the agreement first of all, we just have yeah. to put it on the next yeah. page and say acceptance. I don't see why we can't vote on it, to be honest with you, but this is my opinion. The reason it's listed as discussion mm-hmm. and not discussion and acceptance or approval yeah. is because part of the discussion process is whether or not yeah. you want to approve it or yeah. not approve it. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, to me, that is included in yeah. the word discussion. Yeah. Right. Every meeting you discuss things and then mm-hmm. approve them. Yeah. Uh, or and it's not. Them. It's not like we're taking the town's opinion on this MOU. It's the select board and the library making this decision. So. Uh, I mean, pending those few things that we need to look into, I'm I'm very comfortable mm-hmm. with moving on it. Well, I'll entertain a motion then. We're just making the motion those two things that we want to <coughs> done differently change. So I want to make a motion. I'll make the motion to accept the MOU, MOU uh, pending the two uh, questions asked of the audit and the uh, mm-hmm. small repairs Thank you. added to the budget. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 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 Elevator cost. A second on that. I'll second. All right. Thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you, folks. All right, one thing done. You can't on budget or wait and come back with Tim or you're in on budget? No, we can finish the budget. We're in the middle of it. Tim's not hurt. Yeah, it won't be long. Where do we want to start? We want to start uh, on the town? Uh, I got the town's portion right in front of me, so we might as well start with that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Sure. What the hell we got? This is a town portion. Correct. Okay. And as I'm sure you see, the problem is until we get input from you guys, mm -hmm. there's some numbers we just couldn't fill out. Mm -hmm. Correct. Sure. So, your lines mechanically using now, are they just doing AC stuff or are they doing heating stuff in that too? Heating as well. They're, they're going to do it all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then actually, we had this discussion last meeting about having a company that would do everything, and they're one of the ones that I was going to suggest. So, makes things much simpler. So, is that your thirty-four hundred dollars you have budgeted? Is that to just for the AC, or is that your yearly maintenance of the heater and stuff too, or heating it's system? The whole okay. All right. The Johnson Fire, is that, what is that? Fire extinguisher inspections. Okay, they only charge 50 bucks a year for a fire extinguisher inspection? Wow. And we save three bucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, if you have to have them rebuild them or something, it costs you a little more money, that's all, so. What's that? Yeah. That's your name, yeah. 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 I mean, you probably only have a few, I'm sure, but. Uh, Arm system. Sprinklers. I did see your note on the sprinkler system. Yeah. Yeah. The heads you passed your 50, date, 50 year date must be. They need to replace <laughs> whatever, yeah. whatever we did, we passed yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Insurance. Now on here we have payroll services. Now that that's what you used to pay. Yeah. So we won't have payroll services anymore because Kathy's going to do payroll now. Wonderful. That, I'm cracked, right? That that okay. Yes. So that's going to come out of there then. Well, it's, yeah. the well they have. They still it's, have not in, it's not in the 2022 model. They're just showing where it was for oh, 2021. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. We're looking at the wrong line. Okay. Yeah. My mistake. Yeah. My question, yeah. um, staff wages, mm -hmm. 2021, 131,000, year to date you've used just, let's say 95, remaining a 36,000. You're proposing a 10% increase to 144,000. How did you come to that number of 144? What we're really trying to do is get our part-time staff and our children's librarian up to what is sort of equitable in the state. We're paying our part-time people like, you know, just barely over minimum wage. We are paying the minimum wage? Are we, is it minimum wage? Yeah. I thought it was like a quarter over. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, and, <coughs> you know, we can't, we can't continue to offer a children's librarian who's got a master's degree and multiple years experience but a very low salary you have to crank this up just a little bit so that's where that's coming from we're really hoping over the next three years to be able to get our part-time people up to something over starvation but it's negotiable well, mm -hmm. part of that year today is because it's one of those been making for three months four months right yeah mm -hmm. I thought we, we discussed this a year or two ago about the, your part-time employees not making very much and we increased the money back then to give them an increase in pay. Maybe I'm crazy and losing my mind, but I remember this discussion before. I thought it was a little over minimum wage, but mm -hmm. it's, it's still low. Yeah. And then, then we bring in new people too, mm -hmm. so you know, then they start at the bottom again. But the bottom mm -hmm. shouldn't be as bottom as, mm -hmm. as it currently is. Do you do evaluations and give increases for the evaluation, or you just do a yearly cost of living increase? How are you guys doing that? We do a yearly evaluation. We have we didn't ask for a cost of living increase this year because oh. we were asking for a boost up in salary. 
-hmm. Usually we do a cost of living increase, and if we've got um, an unusually wonderful employee, yeah, we do get more into it. Mm -hmm. We need fuel generation for the interior now. Yeah. So this 144 would be totally maxed, no room for increases for everybody, and if you did, you'd be over budget? Is that what that's saying? Is what you're saying? That includes projected increases. In yes. Projected. This is okay, a, that's what I'm trying to get to. This is, a, this is projected to where we should be, or what we want to be. I think you are. And this budget includes the... Two, is it, there's two full-time positions, right? Yes. The director and the in the children's right. library yes. is a full-time position. Yeah. So the, yeah, that, yeah. And there's funds to fund both those positions that are already in here. That's, that's not part of this increase, right? Well, that's mm -hmm. increased includes here. it. Right. Yeah. Includes that. Yeah. That is the projected based on what the salaries will be funded for mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah. 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 If you'd like to see a breakdown, we can send that. No, it's all right. Um, I just wondered, is, I can remember a few years back when we voted to add the children's library and it, there was money, it was part of the vote to add that amount of money to pay that position. So now we're asking for more money to add to that position. That, and just trying to wrap yeah, my head around it. That was yeah. four or five years, five years. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the yeah. base has changed since then. Yeah. Yeah, well, and we've also found out that it's, mm -hmm. it's really hard to mm -hmm. attract and keep good mm -hmm. people kind of wages we can offer, mm -hmm. especially for a full-time children's librarian. Mm -hmm. Because they're not comparable to the rest of the state, or lower than most of the rest of the state. Yeah, we mm -hmm. are way at the bottom end of the mm -hmm. And as a community collaborator, the, the children's librarian position is such a valuable position to the library. Um, mm -hmm. As I step in some days a week to host play groups, um, having an additional, having that person there being somebody very, extremely qualified could offer a lot of um, potential programming for youth in our community. And, yeah. you know, I have never seen any of our children's librarians do anything but work. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the position at all. I, I'm not saying that. I just question the, the, the uh, money and so. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess what's probably more important is uh, you know what's the participation i mean uh, is the community using this service I, you got a lot of kids coming in and out of this what kind of asked. numbers that that would help you know uh, we had the highest number ever of summer reading participants this past summer okay the library has ever had all right i'm going to say this you're like my wife when she goes to the casino when she comes home i ask her how much money she <laughs> lost okay uh, i wanted a number <laughs> <laughs> because that might impress people. We had 135 yeah. kids enrolled in the summer reading program. That's a pretty substantial number. It's in the town report. It's going to be in the Okay, all right. So I'll just that number. <laughs> I know every Wednesday I'm there, and between 10 and 11 a.m., there's anywhere between 10 to 20 children that come in and use the facility. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I have a, a steady group of mm -hmm. uh, 20 teens, which I think is extremely impressive, yeah. coming yes, every mm -hmm. month to teen night. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's good. Now, especially yeah. since, you know, we were really knocked back by COVID. We yeah, right. right. Groups in the library. Mm -hmm. right. And yeah. I think we've come back with that. I our, agree. Yeah. We're handing out, mm -hmm. and another big number for you here, we're handing out every month uh, 40 kits, take-home kits for crafts for kids every single month. Mm -hmm. We were doing that weekly, but since we lost our children's librarian, we're not able to provide that weekly anymore. We can only do it on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. So there is a need. Well, I know there's a need. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and it is, you have a pretty good number of kids that go through yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah. potential for that number to expand. Yeah. Right. Okay. yeah. Joel, do you have a question? Yeah, I got a quick question. Yeah. So the town contribution, I don't see a total one there. Oops. We'll have to add that. No, it, looks, it, looks, it looks like it was 166 last year, and when I quickly add that column, mm -hmm. it's very close to that number. Of and then the library, the library of their own, is going to be added to that. So the overall increase to the yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just I, I'm just having a hard time justifying 
thirteen thousand dollars in payroll of, mm -hmm. when we're only giving one point two percent to these employees. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm not taking away from the library. I've said this, you know, I, I'm a fan of them, but when we weren't open half or three quarters of the time, year and a half, but we're still going to get raises on top of the budget. I'm just mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time with that. That's that's me. And, but how, you know, okay, how do we approach trying to normalize these wages? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. at some point, there's, there's got to be a jump if we're ever going to get them up to something mm -hmm. even remotely fair. Mm -hmm. So let, let me ask you this question. So you, you're proposing as part of this is your your um, part-time people that they basically make the minimum wage. So what if you hired a new part-time person? What after this, if this goes through, what are you proposing to start on that? I mean, a dollar more than the minimum wage or something, or is that? I mean, is that what your thought was with the? Basis on fifteen. Yeah, we're trying to get our part-time employees up to fifteen. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Hmm. I know. Yeah, I mean. I get it. There's everybody's looking for help. I mean, you go to McDonald's, make fourteen dollars an hour. So I, I get it. But uh, my question would be: too under this uh, proposed town budget, you got salary and wages at one hundred forty-four thousand. Does that include benefits or no? No, no. no. strictly salary. No. I I can't calculate all the expenses yeah. until I get okay. Probably Insurance and so insurance and you have two full-time employees. Right, mm -hmm. and to date, we, the libraries, pay them very minimal benefits. Right. Because I understand that, uh, but if it goes into the town, and according to the our memorandum of understanding, they the full-time employees will be entitled to the same benefits as the other town employees. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's going to be a substantial. Yep. Absolutely. Gain for those mm -hmm. employees. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. so we're, but we're not asking for a raise for those employees. We're asking for a raise for our part time, part -time employees. employees. How so many part time again do you have? Five. 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 Four. Four. Three thousand dollars in a full year or so a year. Well, I think there has to be a give and take. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm worried of the 144. That's me. Add anything? Do we have a total mark of what? the two budgets are going to be put together. Right. Give me just one second. On here, is that what you're working on? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The other thing, though, I heard Kathy say the benefits number isn't even included. No. 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 So that's going to be even higher than what you it, And that's why I'm asking what these yes, two numbers know. add together are. Right. And you've still got Absolutely. I mean, the they, full-time employees are going to get a substantial benefit by coming on as a town employee with all the So there's going to be a benefits. give and a take here. Mm -hmm. And our town employees get a set increase every we usually give a cost of living. I think last year we gave like one point two percent across all employees. It's across the board. Yeah. 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 So they would fall into that. They would yeah. fall. What do you know? The town? No, they wouldn't. The yeah. library? No. Yeah. 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 The trustees determine that. Their wages. Yeah, we can't. We can't do it. We can set their budget, but we can't set their pay scale. Yeah. Kind of. Right. You know what I mean? I think we need to have a, some totals. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're looking at these numbers here, I mean, uh, I guess we got to add all this in here. So you're up over. Uh, Almost 190 something. 100. Yeah, 191, I think, is what I got. Yeah. I would say we're already 30,000 over last year just mm -hmm. by the towns. Entire time people got benefits. No. 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 So many hours a week they might get uh, sick leave. That would be one that, that you yeah, know. It's like 191, 711. Yeah. Wow. That's based on what's here right now, plus the benefits That's would be on top of that. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Plus the 60,000. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, 
looking yeah. out for the taxpayers. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's substantial. And then you're not adding. We're not. We haven't even thrown in the figure of what it's going to cost us for health insurance and all that to add to the police, add to this. On top of that. So it looks like it would probably just for the sake of discussion here tonight, you could say two hundred twenty thousand dollars total library budget. Ouch. Plus the sixty thousand now. What? Their budget. No, no. This no, is no. Figured, this is that's all figured, included. That's figured, that's figured in. in. That's figured in. Yes, it is. You added the benefits. You're gonna be even higher. Than wow. That. We were up to 191, and I'm adding another 29,000 on top of that, which I don't know if that's realistic. But 191 doesn't include the 60,000. Yes, it does. Right. You it includes the operating budget yes. and the town budget. Yes. It doesn't yeah, include the both of them. 144 plus 60. It's not 60. They have income from their... Uh, 43. It's 43. Okay. About a 60, I think. 60,000 total increase over last year. Yeah. So you're talking about a $60,000 increase from last year? Yeah. I don't know how that's going to fly. But. Uh, another question I have from the trustees with your part-time employees. How high are you going from, you know, you, you want to raise their their hourly pay, but are you starting at minimum wage now, and how high are you going? We'd really like to get them up to 15 an hour. So what are they at now? They're at? 12.50. 12.50, so it's a $2.50 an hour raise. But that just still doesn't seem to add up to, I guess it's mostly the benefits probably that are going to really drive them some of that. How many hours do they all work? Are they different hours? They're all different, yeah. Yeah. So what, if you added all the hours together, how much do all the part-time employees have to leave? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 I know, it's going to hurt. Well, we've got people who work from... Oh, this is too deep. Yeah. Yeah. from like 14 hours a week up to 25 hours a week before some of it. Right? I know. And it, and so you have part-time employees who work 25 hours a week? Boost in their... their yeah. And I mean, they don't raise their pay, but you know, all the benefits are going to go there. Uh, that's why I need to know all, all everybody's your hours, how many hours they'll work, because I can't even begin to even figure out what the additional cost for any benefits or, or taxes. Yeah. We can send you the, um, Kathy, we'll send you the list, the hours, everybody works per week. Okay, yeah, because I really need to know that, because if someone works over 25 hours, they could be entitled to a different benefit or a benefit. Even if the part-time employees are hired by the library and not by the town? They're still on town employees. That's why we're doing this. They're all this going to be town employees, no matter if they're part-time or full-time. Yeah. The library's done payroll over two weeks. I don't think anyone's really close to that. So that's 25 hours, not a week, every two no, weeks. No, no, that's a week. Oh. 25, okay. yeah. Oh. So that's why I need to know. I need to get more concrete information. Yeah, I, think, I, I think. can even comment on what we're going to uh, and I hate to pro- continue to prolong, but I think we know that need to know that information before we really mm-hmm. go too far with the budget. <laughs> I'll be honest; I'm having a hard time justifying a two dollar fifty cent increase for employees, and I'm again not taking away. But we've been closed on and off for a year and a half. In my understanding, they still got paid, but still we want to give them a raise. I, I, for the taxpayers, I, I just don't think that's right. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Even if they got paid when they weren't working. Right? Have our time for that. So actually, they did work. They did work. Yeah, we had curbside services. You could still pick up books curbside. We still had uh, people Craft. in the building answering reference calls. Oh, we did tons of virtual programs. So many virtual programs. Yep. Take home Fair. kits. So they did. had to be assembled. They worked for it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking library but closed, so I, I'll stand corrected. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But of course, we see your point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot because we're taking on adding so much more to this now by the town taking it over by taking these two 
full-time people and making them town employees, it's adding a lot more to the budget to start with. There's right got to be a give right and take. Um, well, let's, we'll send I, I think we need to get Kathy the information yes. first and figure out the actually picture. what we're gonna, it's going to cost us to pay these employees that we've got to pay now, but the difference. And, so we can come back and compare the two. Yeah, so we know what the cost of the benefits are exactly. going to be. We, that's not in here. The other thing is, mm -hmm. uh, you got the hours of these part-time people, mm -hmm. and you're proposing this increase in pay. What is that going to be? What's that amount going to be on the budget? That's something that you can. That's what's. Yeah, it's that one thirty one. That's, that's what they're proposing. They're proposing so the all work. of the increase in 13. staff wages is because of the increase in part time employees. Yeah. And the pay. Librarian. Okay, so there's a, that's there is some other that's not going to the part time <laughs> people. So if you had twenty hours a week, yeah, five employees. Thirteen thousand. Yep. Well, then that brings it up to the hundred and forty-four. So the full-time people would not be getting any increase in their pay. Not, not no, they're getting the benefits. Not to the, not to the same they're getting some serious benefits. Yeah, but if the numbers that you know he just said, if you do the twenty hours, I just took twenty hours a yep. week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five employees, yep. right? Yes. $2.50. So it can't be they're working quite that much then. Some, if you're I just some, average. Some people, yeah, some people are under 20, some people are over 20. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's a mix. But I, like I say, I'd like to know mm -hmm. what would be helpful for us mm -hmm. would be to know how much is going to the part time employees and how much is going to the two full time employees mm -hmm. that are part of this $14,000 or $13,000 increase. Well, you know, as we said, we'll send break it down for us. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be great. Yep, yeah. yeah. and yeah. we'll send you some yeah. Yeah. alternative yeah. salary proposals. And the other and thing, you can see if there's anything that yeah. works for you guys. The other thing and is, then we'll have the numbers on the benefit if you get all that information. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot we seek to put up. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, why it's important for Kathy is to make sure we know how many hours a week each of those employees work because like Kathy said if they work over 25 hours a week that means we have to provide some benefits so that could increase things even more yeah if there's only one we can make sure that doesn't happen mm -hmm. maybe I'll just okay, yeah. <laughs> but, well that's something we need to make sure we totally understand that we agree to take over two employees on, on two. Two. Uh, uh, two was two for the benefits mm -hmm. in the rest of part time. Yeah. Right, but you yeah. are still on employees. So. I understand it, but that's why I'm saying we need to be sure that th this was agreement that we were going to. Uh, they're all going to be town employees, but it's known that only two of them were full time. Full -time. The rest were to just the part time, benefits. below the benefit level. It yeah. is where I'm, where I'm going with this. Yeah. So there's also going yeah. to be costs with the part-time employees because you got the employer share of Social Security, etc. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Do that, but I'm saying if we got if they got one or two people that are working more than 25 hours a week, and then they're entitled to benefits. So yeah. you got vacation and that, yeah. those kind of things that they're entitled to through the town. So we have to make sure we're all. There's things for the insurance. There's levels. things for different benefits. So yeah. it all depends on. What number would it need oh. to be under to? I'm going to check if it's 20 or 25 because okay. obviously. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that yeah. number. That will make a huge difference. Okay, we're all good on the library budget stuff. All right. Thank you, folks. No, it took us like three times the last time. We'll get there. Well, this is a big change, and mm -hmm. uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people in the community that might be a little. Uh, confused by all this uh you know and of course you're getting into a situation where this budget is going up mm -hmm. it's going up okay and that's what you know that might be what people take out and i hope you know that yeah. it's going to be something that you know we can explain and and, and people will support that's going to be an issue i can see right now we can write many many supportive articles yeah. Yeah, and I, 
the, and <coughs> the way to get support is by the use of that facility. Correct. You know, you got them numbers, those kids. Yeah. Okay, that's what, you know, I mean, if it's getting that kind of use and the community is going to be willing to support it, and there's probably a lot of people that don't know how much use the library gets. And myself included. You must come to Harry Potter night. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures you want to see? Oh, all right. Get in here if you've done. So we all, <laughs> all go to the library done. stuff? Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you, folks, for coming. Okay, yeah. do you want anything on the operating budget over here? I think we're okay on that. I think we'll get the car and go back over the whole yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gives okay. us time to breathe and I think we're Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, thank you. Thank very, you. very, very much. No, nope, thank right. you. And we really we'll, appreciate we'll get there. all the work so. on the MOU. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, discuss reasonable pro priorities projects with Tim Smith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're back, too. I'm back, yeah. Yeah, did we just see you? You did, yes. Mm -hmm. Mad Penny. Yeah. so I don't think we're going to see that fine print. <laughs> you and I will do. Um, I don't think I'll take much of your time. This is uh, more to let you know, educate you about what the process is and what. So as part of the Regional Development Corporation, we have to answer, we have to answer to the Agency of Commerce and Community Development as part of our funding that we get. We get uh, from the state of Vermont, FCIDC gets $118,000. And we have certain requirements that we have to meet and this is one of those, and that is to create a priority project list for the county. And the, lit, the intent for the list is so all the parties on the state level know what's going on in each county, what the activities are. And then as grant applications or grant opportunities arise, whether it's Northern Board or Regional uh, Commission or CDBG or whatever the case is, they know uh, where the priorities lie. So. What our responsibility is, is to, uh, let, let me back up, last year we did this process in-house because we had a very short time window to come up with that list of projects for the state. So between us, uh, Elizabeth and I in, in the FCIDC office and then working with regional planning, we came up with a list last year. Now because we have more time, we're doing a more extensive outreach so that we can make sure we beat all the bushes and and make sure we know exactly what's going on out there. What you have in front of you that Elizabeth shared is just um, a list that was, has been accumulating even after last year as something else comes up. The trick to this is going to be that we, uh, once we have all the projects in hand, we will then have to sort of retreat to the back room and rank them, and that's what Elizabeth is talking about. We have certain ranking criteria for each job. Some of those might be um, job creation, direct and incorrect direct. Uh, is it deemed feasible? Was there a planning study done on it? Uh, is, it is there any other funding available? Um, I don't know if you have any. Is it compatible with the regional plan? Yeah. Um, the biggest thing though is it has to show job retention or creation. So there are some great projects out there that just don't have a direct job creation or retention. Keep in mind this is coming to Agency of Commerce and Community Development, so their focus is economic development. Um, Elizabeth drafted a form which has been sent out to um, all the municipalities. We've asked for a deadline of Friday, Friday, but I mean we're not, it's not cast in stone, but we wanted to get out, we're trying to get out to some of the larger communities, um, just make them aware of it, educate them. Um, you know, this gives you an indication of what some of the projects are. You know, uh, Richford, Enosburg, Swanson, St. Albans, um, 
and then some general ones, you know, a, a workforce investment coordinator, you know, the rail trail touches many communities. Um, so a lot of these I'm sure you're aware of. Um, you know, the Swanton ones that we had were the downtown redevelopment, 4th Street property, and then the Riviera Hotel. So those are ones that um, that we'll, we'll convene on and we will have discussions and, and try to come to an agreement on the ranking. Um, the state is only, which we don't, which we don't agree with, but the state is only interested in the top 10 uh, moving forward. So uh, the discussion we've had is that there could be a project on here like the Riviera Hotel that may not initially create many jobs that has a lot of value to a community. So that's a discussion that we need to have further with ACCD and um, see where they want to take that type of project. You know, the, uh, all, a lot of them have more to do with infrastructure than job creation or and housing. So um, those are some of the things that we need to flush out in the meantime. And one question, because I think I might know what your question is. <laughs> Maybe not. The Southern Growth District is not on here because it's privately owned property that is, just isn't for us to be on mm -hmm. the list. But it's, it's a feasibility piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that was your question. <laughs> Well, that might have been one of them. Uh, the other one that I think your, I get... Just to, to your uh, wife's uh, information, there is no casino on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we'd save money on gas. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, so if it's not something that has the potential to retain jobs or create jobs, you can't rank it. You can't bring that into the state. Well, not necessarily. And when you say that, I guess my question is, what? How's that affect other things that don't actually do that? As far as well, I think though, but for us, and I'm going to answer for Tim. Um, he'll tell me tomorrow what, what I answer right or not. We'll have a long list. We'll rank the top ten based on this criteria that you can't read. But we'll still keep the rest on the list, and there may be other funding streams for housing, for infrastructure, or other things. So those that don't make the top ten. So there's there's other things that you want me to go. Forward? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. So there's other uh, there's other documents. There's a comprehensive economic development strategy, which is formulated by the Northern Vermont Economic Development District, and in that district is Franklin County, Grand Isle, Lamoille. Caledonia, Essex, and Orleans. I don't think I missed any. Uh, so we formulate a strategy for the northern tier of Vermont, and all of these do all of these can be put into that as well. So if someone's looking at going to for EDA federal EDA funds, and it's in the SEDS, then they could be eligible for funding through that. The one when we say top ten, it's more focused mainly on that agency of commerce, but there's other avenues of funding. That these could be uh, so. What you're particular what you're talking about is just that source of funding. Yes. For okay. The state of Vermont. So right. probably more than likely, um, Northern Borders Regional Commission is probably the one that is focused mainly on our region, this region for job creation. Okay. CDBG is different. CDBG, we were looking at a grant, and they're totally focused on housing. So if you look at Riviera yeah. or. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Brigham Academy, yeah. they may not have job creation, but they could be in line for other grant dollars. Yeah, so you're not, th thank you, Earl, yeah. you're not totally bumped out of all funding if you don't create jobs. There's there's other right. avenues. So. so what you would like to see is maybe something that the town might want to put on here? Yeah, if you, if you have something you want to convey, yeah, the form is fairly, David has the form, I think. David has the form, I can resend it. Uh, but it's fairly short, it's a one pager, just to make us aware of it, we then um, put it on the list and go from there. So if there's something we're missing, now keep in mind that the trick for us when we go out to Berkshire and Fairfield, uh, when we did this years ago through what was then the Economic Development Council right. in Northern Vermont, yeah. They got the forms back that says we want to replace the culvert under South Street. Yeah. You know that it's it's a project for them. You know within their budget, but in terms of what we're looking for, it doesn't 
it doesn't meet that criteria. So it's more just focus on the economic development impact. And housing is, you know, th this may change next year because of the, the, uh, the crucial need for housing moving forward. And housing goes hand in hand with economic development. So we may see some changes down the road, but at least we have that. What about child? Child care too. Child. Uh, I mean, that's, that's on here. Daycare. Uh, if you look at the Enosburg Curly Block, that's a daycare project. Yeah. Um, how that ranks for economic development, you know, same thing. There'll be some job creation, but to what level yeah. and to what pay scales, you know. So. Well, it's, you know, some of them things are kind of important to oh. to entice people to uh, create jobs yeah. here because they know they have the infrastructure okay. to support it. You know, yeah. that, that, you know, just as just as well as water and sewer, I think. You know, child care or daycare is a very important thing now. Yep. Yeah. All important. the wraparound yeah. services, transportation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't, we're not looking for anything. We just wanted to make you aware of it. If there's something that mm -hmm. uh, you know is, is um, in the works, keep in mind that, that fig, you know, make something that's under discussion now may not make this list this year, yeah. but if it moves past and it is, maybe it does a feasibility study and they get one one grant and then it jumps up on the on the rankings here, if you will. Mm -hmm. Certainly, just curious to how far the, the 4th Street property or the community center in regards to the rec center could go into this, because I think that's one of the bigger things I think that we really are going to be looking for in the future for economic development, so to speak. Some job creations, but I think as tourism as a whole and what it's going to bring, I'm uh, curious really to see so what that indirect, impacts that. It's that indirect job. Absolutely. That that's going to create. Yeah. Yeah. Question words? What happens when you make the top 10? You're awarded. You send me a certificate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, it, uh, there's no everyone gets a everyone gets a certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start. Uh, so we we forward that to the agency of commerce and community development. They keep it, so they keep it within their ranks and educate their people about what the so the act, you're going to have you end up with agency of commerce is going to have 120 projects right from all I see. 120, considering Northeast Kingdom is one, but 120 projects, and they will have a list of going to be tracking through not not just one year, but multiple years. So the, you don't get anything other than if you get to the point of applying, you can always reference that we're a top 10 on this list. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's pretty much where you benefit from in the certificate. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to reach out to uh, other towns as well, um, go to Unisburg, um, St. Albans City and Town, Georgia, I know, so, um, and, and the form and uh, an explanation has been emailed to all town clerks and select board chairs, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions for Tim? Yep. So we have an opportunity to do a respond until Friday or maybe a little bit more. We've uh, got the holiday next week, but, you know, and we can, we'll be adding as we go throughout the year to, yeah. you know, it may not make the ranking, but it'll be added to the list so we, we're aware of it for next year. Yeah. Well, I think that's the other piece is just so we know what's going on. The regional planning knows what's going on and coming down the pipes. So if we hear of something that may be a funding opportunity or whatever, then we can say, hey, let me know what's going on, which we can't do if we don't know about the project. James, <coughs> what about the, uh, what we heard about earlier tonight, the Long Valley Rail Trail in Western Terminus? <coughs> There are 90 different uh, towns applying for that money, so not everyone is going to get approved. Uh, would that be worth putting on the list now? They're getting on there. Yeah, and it is. is on. Yeah, she is on there. And that, that is under on the downtown part. For sure. Well, it's yeah. under and um, the Mrs. Coy Valley yeah. and uh, yeah, Lamont Valley are on the list on the drive list. 
Well, yeah, right there. Well, it's con connected part with the forest part of the forest street property. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, I guess I missed that. Then. So that David might. My guess is that will that will be on there for a long time. Oh, yeah. No, I was looking at. Oh, I guess it was the side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. Is this a list the Welcome Center could be on or would be on? Probably the reason it isn't now is just feasibility. We don't know. We don't have no plan. No plan. Yeah. And did I share that? Yes. Yeah. That study. We all did a study or something. Yes. Yes. Did. Yeah. So that's. If that plan comes out and they say, then we'll we'll move forward with something like that. Mm -hmm. correct. Okay. Anything else for us, Tim? No, thank you. Mm -hmm. well, no. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Yeah. Next week, <laughs> perfect. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, thanks All for right, coming out, <clears throat>
that it it just shows how welcoming Swanton can be and gives everybody a greater sense of belonging, which will instill community pride um, and hopefully more community engagement, which is something that um, I, I personally strive for daily. So what is your ask tonight of... of just you know we're bringing this here tonight just to give you an idea of you know the, of this discussion that is taking place by somebody that was a pastor in the, of the church actually J. Hartman from MVU is involved too uh, you know we're just bringing saying that you know that people would like to see us include this in the town mm -hmm. so we came up with this this just yeah. generalized statement okay. to start the yeah. conversation yep. okay. with you folks um, yeah. here and because we think that it is something that's very important moving forward for our community to consider mm -hmm. okay. it has been. support the discussion mm -hmm. yeah not. you know what not it opposed is. by any means no mm -hmm. whether we we adopt some some type of language and I know that you guys spoke about it maybe a couple months ago, come on, you know, put some kind of statement. Uh, so mm -hmm. However, we adopt it and put some kind of verbiage within our website or however, uh, certainly. I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, do they have a copy of the statement? Yes. Yes, yeah, they do. Right. Yeah. We yeah. Have yeah. yeah, they do have a copy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, we didn't want to make something that was really mm -hmm. lengthy and old. Elaborate. We want something that was sure. straight and to the yeah, point, and very easy to understand. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I would like to add it to the town's website, but I would like to, you know, to have a, a, a discussion, uh, you know, with the village trustees too, because I think it, you know, I mean that mm -hmm. that brings in all of Swan. Mm -hmm. uh, Get all the players on the table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that are in, in the audience or watching at home, just so you understand what we're reading in front of us, um, what we came up with is just a, as a general conversation starter, um, currently reads that the Swanton community commits to being a welcoming, inclusive community where everyone belongs through supporting diversity, promoting equity, and recognizing social inequalities. Um, and the people of Swanton invite all to embrace the commitment within our community. So that, that was just the, the starting point for the conversation. And there may, the, 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 probably the potential, and this has happened in other communities, uh, that there may be another, like an SEP, you know, group that kind of deals with these things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we don't, it's not something that the, the board itself is going to be involved in on a daily basis, but, you know, with our mm -hmm. support, uh, you know, it would lend some credibility to that effort. Mm -hmm. And there are many mm -hmm. people already invested in starting a working group already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tonight we're just starting the discussion. Sure. Okay. Yeah. You know, Thank we you for bringing to us. Uh, we'd like to have this discussion with the village trustees when we do have our legislative body meeting. Mm -hmm. I guess at some point in time we're going to have to have one because there's a couple other things we had to deal with. But mm -hmm. uh, when we do, this will be part of the agenda. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Community economic development updates. I will have a handout at the end, but it's not a quiz. It's not a quiz. Sure. <laughs> uh, Earl? Yes, I got your message. Okay, because this for bullet point number one has your name in it. Where? You, me, on my little notes. Oh, oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> Reg, Earl, and myself are meeting with Terry Johnson and Brendan Visa from the town. Um, part of it's the Southern Growth District, and part of it is just how the two towns can, what, what projects are out there that maybe the town and the village and the town can collaborate on. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that December 6th at 5 yep. o'clock. Yep. Yeah, in St. Albans. Yeah. Um, the capital improvement grants, I had mentioned that I was working with somebody on um, getting his application complete. The last I saw as of Friday, so they're trying, if, if, let me back up. There are projects that need to be transformational to the region, and they're trying to spend the money throughout the Vermont, so it's not all essentially, it's not, not all in, in spend in Montpelier or Brattleboro or whatever. So they want to spread it out 
they sent out a list and there is one application right now from Franklin County, so I know that there will end up being three. So if they are true to their word, that should be good news for somebody in Franklin County. Um, so I'm um, working with him on that. Um, meeting with an architect on the 18th to talk about Merchant Grove and some possibilities there to make it more inviting. And you can't see the window displays until you're actually on the windows. So it'd be nice to do something and that would be in conjunction with the, the general improvements in the traffic flow and the pedestrian flow in downtown. So we're meeting on Thursday so we can do a site visit. Elizabeth, just for me, mm -hmm. Spalding Block was sold, my understanding? It is, my understanding is under contract, but okay. the sale is not final. Okay, I get it. Um, and the leader CDBG quarterly report was late. I was waiting on some information. I went ahead and said it anyway. They're fine with it, so the third quarter. So hopefully by the end of the next quarter, it will all be done, but that just depends on some staffing issues that they're having like everybody else is having. But um, we have the potential to be able to close out leader in the next quarter. So, and, and here's my handout. So I printed it in black and white to say color toner. Thank you, ma'am. Um, you're welcome. The first newsletter went out last week. It was the vet Veterans Day. And this was as of this morning. I've already made changes. Nothing substantive other than I added um, Operation Happiness, a little plug for Operation Happiness. If somebody would like to see the color version, here's what it looks like in color. Any extra ones? Yeah, the, here, somebody can have a color copy. Here would be a, oh. <laughs> a fun example of what we could put. You get that, though. <laughs> and put that mission statement on, something yes. like this as well. What I would probably do um, is maybe put it at the bottom of the address, put it always on there. Yep. Um, just mm -hmm. that way it's not in our your email address. But um, Nicole was helpful. She, she sent me some information on the how uh, Christmas in the park, and then I found a few things. So I think I have some more to add to. Okay, I just made it by Monday. Yeah. Add, please. Yep. Um, so just so you can see what what it will look like. Again, I added Operation Happiness, and I changed a few words around here and there. But that's unless you have some major issues. Well, oh, that's not nice. cool. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. It's a good start. And then my next one will probably be around Christmas. It's not always going to be holiday themed, but mm -hmm. how can you pass up Christmas and Thanksgiving? Yep. Um, so this is constant contact. Yes. So you're sending it to a bunch of people then? Uh, we're, I sent it to 73 last week. Yeah. So if anybody knows of anybody who might be good, again, mm -hmm. I just need an email address. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is is Nicole it gave me a copy of the Christmas in the Park flyer and posted it on the website. So I can get a copy of the Happy Things color copy of it. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving. I'll put that on there. Mm -hmm. um, is there a way that would be helpful for me to collect addresses, addresses, email addresses for people to send it to? Is there? You can put it in a, a CVS file, a CSV file, and then I can import it into Constant Contact. Like, you know, you just email only, or do you distribute it anyway? It's right now. It's just email. I just but um, I think what we'll do is you can link it to Facebook as well. Um, so I think we'll I'll get with you and we'll do that for the next one. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess now that we're having start coming out, are all the local businesses, especially in the downtown area, are they part of this constant contact? As many as I had addresses for, I did include. Gordon um, got it, and Stanford got it, Kevin Lothian got it. Um, 
so several that I, I went down my contacts list and just added everybody's email unless I couldn't figure out who in the world it was, and even then sometimes I got it. I just, you have to be careful because you're supposed to have permission to email people. Yeah. Um, so I send out uh, a, a, an email to a lot of people and said, let me know if you want to opt out, and nobody did. Yeah. Because um, I don't want you don't want to have the negativity of emailing yeah. somebody who's like, how the heck did I get this? Mm -hmm. um, it's a great way to stay away from social media. Well, yeah. <laughs> Could there be an addition to our our town website that says if you'd like to receive our constant contacts? You can do that, and they can actually be posted on the website. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah, that's what I like about it. Super. It's, it's user friendly, and that you can use it and you can Instagram it. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm not ready to start a town Instagram page. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a great, it's a great way to promote our community. Mm -hmm. Well, and it can be really quick. It can be as much as one thing. If you have, if say, you, you, know, you have an emergency select board meeting and you want to blast it out there, or it can be something that's on a regularly scheduled um, basis to inform people what's going on. Is there a certain cap to how many we can send out a month? Other than you, you don't want to... Sure, no, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So. Yes. That is it for me, unless anybody has anything. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, no, good. Expenditure, general <laughs> orders. I hear a motion to approve the general orders from 10 to 6 11 21 I make a motion to order order 10 2021 to 11 16 21. Second. Mm -hmm. Take a minute to look at them. Discussion? No changes from what was emailed. No. Okay. Looks like you did a lot of uh, overpayments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me how much of that. I didn't get none of my way for some reason. No, I didn't get a kickback either. <laughs> Never had that problem with me, did you? Yeah, you should sell money on there. I didn't know you could refund the marriage license. No, what? Marriage license? Yeah, refund. Maybe they decided not to get married. I didn't know you could refund those kinds of things. I haven't tried that one. I don't think the one like that. <laughs> because what? No. Mm. Oh, it was because they came to get their marriage license. You don't have to leave. They paid for it, and then when they came to pick it up. They really the best the part. Uh, the best your part, she had to come though. Yeah. 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 Is is it it no. Yeah. No. Really? We'll find out. Yeah, but they will be moving to Swanton right? this year. Yeah. We'll find out tomorrow. We'll find out tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, getting ahead of the curve. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. So no. <laughs> yeah. So See you All right. Good night, guys. Good evening. I you get a message to regard. They had in trouble too, Rod. Right. <laughs> right. Thank you guys. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for following up You'll hear from me tomorrow, too. For me. No they contacted me right off. You're the man. Huh? What's that? I will. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Gordon. Yeah. Have a good evening. Good evening. All in favor of the uh, general budget? Yes. Yeah. 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 Aye. 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 I'll make the motion. Should be no the problem order. there. Noted. I'll second. All right. Take a second look at it because I haven't even looked at them. So. Well, I tell you what, we gotta get some better lighting in here. Mm. My glasses aren't that bad. Make those brighter. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother because they mess with that. And not that there's anybody on Zoom, anyways. But. There's one person. Get, oh, is there someone on there now? Yes. Of Thank course. You. I can't from the see messenger. It. Oh, that's from Kate. Oh. That's what it is. Uh, oh, so. Yep. That was only $8,000. Keep going. Part of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Salt sheds Okay. <laughs> that one I missed yeah. the other day when I was looking on the computer. I think we're good. I don't see anything. Anything else on them? On the highway? All in favor, signal probably seeing aye. Aye. Opposed, I just have it. Payroll 10 20, 21 to 11 16 20, 21.
Any a motion to approve those? I make a motion to approve payroll orders 10 2021 to 11 16 2021. We'll second. All right. All in favor, senior say aye. 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 Opposed? Nice have it. All right. We got some signing to do. What else we got on here? Uh, highway discussion, David, you put on there that grant thing. Right. On the highway. Um, I've looked at that a couple times. I'll look at it again. The, the, the issue with that is, let me get to the page, page 20, right here. The, the problem with this grant is, David, from what I can read, is that they estimated the cost of the equipment that they give the grant for, but these estimates aren't even right. in the ballpark of what this piece of equipment cost. And they're only gonna pay up to 20%. We have to pay 20% of it. But the, the way I read it is, is the state maximum award amount is 80% of the equipment cost, which there, I guess we need to clarify it, but they're only seeing that, they say this, whatever this is, this compact roller greeter thing costs six, they're only gonna pay up to $6,000 of that piece of equipment. Well, I hate to tell them a compact roller greeter is probably $30,000. What they're I don't giving here is examples. Yeah. And what it's that the uh, six thousand relates to the seventy five hundred estimate that they have here. Mm -hmm. Um and the fifteen. So it so are, are they saying that it doesn't matter what this equipment costs? It it just in the in the end we gotta pay twenty percent of it. That's the way I'm on. Well I, I read through this twice and yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I thought I read it differently. I mean, it's just the example this is the twenty percent mm -hmm. of maybe it is. Right. Yeah, it is. You had 6,000 yeah. and 1,500. It is misleading. Yeah. No. We moved on to highway. Yeah. When is that, the deadline for this? And uh, first? 19th. Uh, November 19th. You could just authorize to submit the application. You don't have to accept it if they've ordered it. But do we have to have something that we're going to uh, use the money for first? How do we apply for a grant if we don't know what we're applying for? <laughs> Right, usually we are we don't need a hydro seeder because we already own one and partner with the town of St. Albans. Yeah. Leaf blowers. Yeah. No. I did see the on there. Jonathan, as far as yeah, it's kind of are you I think a sidewalk. Are we putting in for a grant or we're just looking at what's available? Is this is what's available this is this what grant. It's nothing around. particular what we need, but oh. I mean, well, that's what I wanted to know. So yeah. we even need any of I would love a leaf blower at the rec department. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And that's. See, I mean, it says here when you read the fine print leaf blowers to clean leaves and sediment from ditches and reduce culvert plugging. That's supposed to be the purpose of this, this equipment. Yeah, th this yeah. is for road. It's only for yeah. road yeah. stuff. Because we're, we're part of the MRGP. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, if there's right. nothing on this list that we we need, I mean, why would we apply for? Well, we would. Yeah. That's why I'm asking whether we need. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I kind of have to talk to Kevin and see if I, I know I've asked Kevin about this before. And Kevin won't be back until Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This has to be in by the 19th. When's the 19th? Yeah. Friday. Friday. Oh, it's this Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can't send in this grant application without knowing what we're well, applying well, what for. What they're asking for right now is a letter of intent, intent to participate. You don't have to have specific. We'll send them a letter of intent to participate. Don't mean we and have to participate. No. In it. Okay, no, and go ahead. Yep. Answer. We did that on one of the a regular grants a yep. few years ago. When then go for it. They'll they give us more time to think to about it. 50%. No. No, the only thing I could think of is, is a stone screener or something that yeah, I mean, I'm, we're always taking road scrapings and ditch scrapings and stuff and we could screen reuse. that topsoil and reuse it, you know, but. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, send in a letter of 10. Yeah, well, we can work on it. So yep. All right. On I'll entertain a motion that we uh, send, a send a letter of 10 for this grant. I move. Okay. I'll make the motion for yeah. a letter to David Gwen sign a letter for the grant. Uh, yeah, municipal road grant, 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 grant program. In aid program. In equipment purchase, yeah. In equipment purchase. All right. A second on that? I'll second. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. 
All right. Aye. Opposed? Let's have it. All right. Uh, did not our truck? I did not have a chance to call him. Uh, I'll try to get a hold of him right this week uh, and see where we're at with the new truck. But I'll have the greedy cell service where I'm working, so makes it difficult. Um, salt shed's full. Um, you guys are ready for the white stuff. Uh, I'm not, but. Uh, <laughs> I think we're pretty much done a roadside brush hogging, get that cleaned up. Mm. Get all the trash on the sides of the road again, as usual. No one going. It's ridiculous. I don't know what we do about it. It's the same person that keeps throwing trash out from BB Road all the way up to Woods Hill Road. And about once a month, these little white bags of trash are all over the place. You I know who it is? No, not a clue. Nope, can't figure it out. They've determined that they come down to these bags come from the Dollar General store, apparently, they, they think. So I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. They don't know. And it's almost like sometimes it's the same spot. Usually it's going up what's hill under the bridge. They are all shoot out through there. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but. Well, they're going to get one of them deer cameras and put it there. But uh, yeah, something that might just have to. Yeah. Anything else for highway? I can't think of anything. Oh, I will add that under highway. I was asked by Kathy the boy to use the garage for Operation Happiness because they don't have a place to do it now. They used to use the complex and now they're using that ward room for their meetings and they can't tie it up. So I told her they could use the old town garage and then, you know, we store some stuff in there and it's heated, but we can move that stuff so they could use it. That way they're not in contact with us at our shop and I told them there's no bathroom over there so they're gonna have to deal with that because I'm not opening the shop so they can use the bathroom but um, they need it for a week or two in December to do their stuff and set it up and I thought it was fine so yeah. she came out and looked at it or Eugene did and said yeah. it worked fine so just so you guys are aware in case you hear something about it so I appreciate that as I'm helping with all you are helping happens. okay yeah and I did get, I have a key for Kathy to get in that garage and Tanya's going to get her a code for the, her own code for the combination. So but there's only big pieces of equipment in there. That's all that's in there. There's nothing, nothing to bother, anything. So I guess that's it for highway. Any other necessary business? Anything, David? No. No. All right. Public comment. I don't think there's anyone left in public comment. Upcoming events, planning commission meeting is 7 p.m. Wednesday, November 17th, in person in the town office building here on 1 Academy Street. Thanksgiving holiday is Thursday. Thursday and Friday, November 25th and 26th, town, town offices and operations will be closed. Uh, DRB meeting is 6 p.m. Thursday, December 2nd, in person in the Village Complex, 121st Street. The next select board meeting will be Tuesday, December 7th, 7 p.m. in person, 1 Academy Street, or by Zoom. Executive session. We need to go on executive session for personnel. I move that we find that we enter executive session for the select board to receive confidential personnel information for which the premature disclosure of it to the general public would clearly place the select board and others at a substantial disadvantage. No, I'll second it. All right. We gotta wait to vote. What? He'll be back. Yeah, he's going. <laughs> We're voting. All in favor for signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Ayes have it. Hold that on. No, you're good. I move that based on the just made findings that premature disclosure would place the select board and others at a substantial disadvantage, we enter executive session. I'll second that. Mm -hmm. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? We're now in executive session at 9.08. All right, I move that we all exec, uh, exit executive session. All right. At? At 9.55. Yeah, 9.55. Get a second. second. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Well, opposed? Ayes have it. Action taken. Uh, I'll Wait, make a motion. Oh. Oh. Wait, I got to get. Oh, yeah, sorry. Letting... Got somebody back coming back Where's in. my little thing that says I can let her in? You scroll over our name. Oh, duh. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> you get her on there? Yep, she she's on. Kate, you still with us? The video? 
Oh, oh thank big you. News for Very much. All right, then are we ready? I wanted no. to see if she could hear us. Kate, can you hear us? Sleeping. She's probably recording it. <laughs> I guess not. Go ahead. I'm not All right, then I'll move that the select board appoint uh, Brian Savage as our new town administrator. Of the December 1st. As of December, the has 1st. Of December 1st. I'll yeah. second that. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Um, I also yep. make a motion to change our second meeting in December from the 21st to the 14th. That's going to mess with some of our... Yeah, our, you, won't, you won't have the back for... The problem is, is yeah, I know, but two of us aren't going to be here for... I didn't think of that either. Be real grant bids. Well, we can. Well, that's all right because we can still talk uh, about like those there first, first week. First meeting. Right. First meeting in January. We'll yeah. still have enough time. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it would give um, Tyler time to look them over. Yeah. An yeah. That that's okay. We can still deal with you that. Want to say something, Kyle? Well. When is the yeah. drop dead date? <laughs> oh, I, I got it. No, I mean for the for the the uh, final budget to be approved. Oh, I got a paper on that too, but I don't have it with me. And then how, how quick do you need to get stuff to the printer? We have to have everything done by January 20th. Somebody put one of those in a folder, but I don't have it with me. I think it was like the third Thursday. I paper it had it all, everything, the dates that we needed. No, I'm just saying that if we have a meeting the 7th and the 14th, mm -hmm. I need to pay bills. Yeah. So we're going to have to do something this week. Well, we'll have to have a meeting on the 20th. You, can just do, you don't have to have a form. Just do a meeting to approve the All right, so we could, yeah, just for no, the order. Just for the order. I can't handle three meetings in one month. Come on. You know, it's yeah. Well, why don't we move the, for, do it instead of the 14th, do it 28th? Well, we can't, that's another option. Yeah. Everybody going to be back in town. All right, will you be in town? I, I may be here the 21st, I won't know until the well, No, yeah. let's do the 14th because we're doing budgets at those two meetings. And we cannot wait until the 28th to do a budget. Well, that's what I'm worried about. And, it, so, and moving them up a week the sooner is probably going to get... The 14th and this week, I mean, mm -hmm. even if you're not back in town, I need yeah. three out of five of yeah. to have yeah. a short meeting to yeah. move the order. That's okay. fine. Okay. Yeah. Everyone will get to see We can handle that. Okay. Almost right at 730. All right, that works for me. Oh, no, we can do it during the day if you want. Yeah. Lunch time. Oh, we could do it. Yeah. There we go. I'll second that motion. Okay. We got that all straight then. So we're changing our meeting in the second meeting December to December 14th. And do we want to know that we will be meeting at the 28th at noontime to review the order? Well, I don't know about making it at noontime. Well, if you don't make it, as long as there's three of us. You make it. I can make it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I won't I be working. Sounds good to me. So doing the 14th instead of the 28th? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Both. Well, the yeah. 28th will do that as a special so we'll have meeting. It's a special meeting just to do the orders. Yeah. You buying a lunch, Kathy? I guess. Yeah, we can. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I'll make it. Sounds good, or all. I don't want to. So look December, good. we'll have a meeting on the 7th. <laughs> okay. A meeting on the 14th. Really? Yeah. And then a meeting on the 28th. Wow. You're making yourself a You get that, Joe? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And what time is the 28th? 28th is going to be at noon, Earl says. Yeah, so. noon. High noon. High noon. <laughs> yeah. Are we all done? What's that? Are we all done ready for a motion? I think we're ready. That's yep. it. Everyone's good. We're going to adjourn at uh, 9. Oh, we got to move out of the executive session first. We already did that. Oh, we already yeah. did that. We did that. We did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're 9.55. Oh, yeah. You agreed yeah. to that already. You're sleeping over there. Yeah. Oh. yeah we got a motion. To, do we get a second to exec Second. To okay. adjourn. I All in favor, seen the vote, say aye. 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 Most eyes have it. We're adjourned. Thank you, folks. Thank you.